Skytrack Plus, Mevo Plus. If you're looking at getting a launch monitor, these are probably two names you've heard of. Now, the good news is these are, I think, the two most underrated launch monitors for their price point. And no matter what one you go with, you can't really go wrong with either device. But there's gonna be one that's right for you, so let's figure out which that is. Starting off with the space constraints in your room, that's gonna be a really important thing because your decision may already be made for you. The Meeble Plus is gonna require a little more depth in your room. So if you wanna use a Meeble Plus, you'll probably need a room that is a total of 18 to 19 feet deep. Now the benefit of this is the Meeble Plus will sit right behind you, which allows you to use lefties and righties in your space without having to pick up and move the device, which is just really nice to have. The Skytrek Plus is a camera-based launch monitor, which means it's using cameras to kind of capture the spin and speed of the device, and it actually is paired with a little bit of radar like the Mevo Plus. One of the differences is the Mevo Plus is mostly radar with a little bit of camera, Skytrack Plus mostly camera with a little bit of radar. But with that Skytrack Plus being camera based, it's gonna sit right by you, which is nice because you don't need quite as much space to put it in your simulator. But like I said, then you'll have to move it for lefties and righties. So what I would say is if you have under 19 feet of depth, your decision's already made probably on the Skytrack Plus. Moving on, let's talk about accuracy of the device, because if you're debating both of these devices, this could probably be the deal breaker that helps you make that decision. Now, the good news is they are extremely accurate devices. You've probably seen forums that are telling you to get more expensive launch monitors and you're gonna regret spending less on the Mevo Plus or the Skytrack Plus. That's not true. I think a lot of people get what's called like buyer's remorse where they spend more on a device so it has to be better. I have tested essentially every launch monitor on the market and I can tell you the Mevo Plus and Skytrack Plus are 99% of what the most expensive devices are. But here's what I think the differences are in the device. The Mevo Plus is hands down one of the most accurate devices on your carry yardages. When you pair it with the Titleist RCT balls, and let me be clear, you wanna make sure you get those Titleist RCT balls with the Mevo Plus to get the best accuracy out of the device. Now, when I have tested the Mevo Plus, it's with a 99%, like I said, of TrackMan, GC Quad, and just all those kind of name brand, more expensive devices on the market. And if it tells you anything, the device that I still use 95% of the time is the Mevo Plus. That's how accurate I think it is. I have launch monitors that are more expensive, but with all the data that comes with the Mevo Plus and how consistently accurate it is on those carry yardages, as a lefty, Mevo Plus is the way to go when I have buddies over. So that's what I use most of the time. Now, what the Mevo Plus won't pick up is what's called gear effect. And what that means is, let's say you have that out to end swing path, open club face, it should be slicing, but if you hit the ball really, really far on the toe, what will happen is the driver of club face kind of opens up, the ball will kind of twist in and it will cause a draw spin. So if you ever get a really bad duck hook, it's probably because you hit it on the toe. So the Mevo Plus won't pick that up, but let me be clear, no matter what device I've tested, they all have some issue. No device is perfect, even if it's a GC quad or Trackman. And so for me, in terms of issues, this is probably one of the smallest ones because at the end of the day, if you're gonna hit it that far on the toe to get gear effect, it's a terrible shot anyway. So if a terrible shot reads the wrong direction, left or right, you already know it's a terrible shot. It's not a huge deal. When you strike it decent or good, it's gonna read that path, that flight path left to right, essentially perfect. And now moving out of the Skytrek Plus, I was extremely impressed by its accuracy. A lot of people like to kind of talk bad about the Skytrek Plus and go, the Bushnell Launch Pro is so many leaps and bounds above the Skytrek Plus, but I really don't think it is. I do think the Bushnell Launch Pro is a little more accurate, but it's more expensive at the same time. And to be honest, where I think it differs in accuracy between the Mevo Plus and Bushnell Launch Pro, if you're playing 18 holes by yourself, I think shot shape is essentially perfect every time. So kind of that direction left or right, even with gear effect. And I think carry yardages, I think you're only gonna get one that seems a little bit off, maybe once or twice every 18 holes. That's really what I think the difference is between the Skytrack Plus and those more expensive units. And that's just showing how good I think the device is. So at the end of the day is thousands of dollars extra worth, maybe one or two more accurate carry yardages on 18 holes. I think that's up to you. Moving on to price, 
let's start with this if you want to get these devices at the lowest price possible use our codes and discount links below and if you guys can subscribe to the channel it really helps out now price is really confusing because all these devices have like subscription fees and a bunch of add-ons so let's break it down for you the mevo plus with code golfbusters 10 and our links below you're going to get the base unit for around 1800 dollars now, the best thing about the Mevo Plus, regardless of what add-ons you put onto it, there's no subscription fees, and it's really the only device with that. So other devices, you're paying $200 to $500 a year just to use the device. Mevo Plus, you don't have to do that. So Mevo Plus base unit, you're gonna get a bunch of different data metrics. We'll put that on the board, but if you really wanna upgrade it and get what I think is totally worth it, you're gonna wanna spend around an extra $800 on what's called the Pro Package. And this has a ton of extra data points it's gonna add to the Mevo Plus, but really the ones I love the most are Club Path and Face Angle. This essentially allows me to see what I'm doing wrong with my swing in real time, and it's extremely accurate. And then also there's a ton of other different data metrics. And and like I said earlier, this is one of the things I love about the Mevo Plus because you get by far the most data for this price point. Now, when you add on that pro package with code GOLFBUSTERS10, you're gonna be looking at around uh, like 2,500, give or take. Then there's another add-on that you can have called Face Impact, and that's around, I think, 400 some dollars. I'm not quite sure. You guys can plug the code in and see exactly what it adds up to. But Face Impact is a really cool feature, which allows you to see exactly where it impacted on your club face. The only caveat with that is when you add on the Face Impact, you have to have good LED lighting. I'll link the lights I use below. They're like 50 bucks, you hang them up, and then your device has enough light to read Face Impact. So all in with all those add-ons, you're looking at around $3,000 and no subscription fees, which I will tell you guys, you will not get more data out of a device for that price point. It's incredible. And then finally, you're probably looking at all those three things and you'll also see a limited edition Mevo Plus. And essentially what the difference is between that and the one I just described is it's got a new kind of color design on it and it comes pre-packaged with the Pro Package and Face Impact. Those add-ons are already built into the device and then you also get the premium E6 courses that come with it. So with the Mevo Plus, you get a base 10 courses and they're pretty decent, but with the limited edition, you're gonna get 12 E6 courses, which are kind of those premium courses, like I think Beth Page Black, Pebble Beach, and St. Andrews. But if you're wondering if there's any accuracy difference between the limited edition and if you just buy the regular Mevo Plus with the add-ons, there's not. And also another thing I wanna add in, the Pro Package and Face Impact doesn't make the Mevo Plus read the golf ball any better. It just adds on those data points. All right, that was a lot. Let's move on to the SkyTrack Plus. So SkyTrack Plus usually hovers around 2,700 to 3,000. So essentially full SkyTrack Plus, full Mevo Plus gonna be about the exact same. The only difference with the SkyTrack Plus price-wise, you're gonna have some subscription fees. So it's gonna be around 250 a year if you just wanna get the SkyTrack Plus and have what comes with 15 E6 courses. Now, in terms of data points, the SkyTrack Plus comes with club path and face angle, which I'm really happy about. You get a little less data than the Mevo Plus. Now with the SkyTrack Plus, if you wanna get that club path and face angle as good as possible, I find you need to get some metallic stickers to put on the club face to get that to be as accurate as possible. But the good news is I found club path and face angle to be extremely accurate, where some devices aren't great with it. Okay, moving on to setup of the device. Once you get kind of that initial setup done, how long does it take to just boot it up and start playing. They're both extremely quick. SkyTrack Plus is probably one of the quickest I've used. You pretty much just power it on, connect to Wi-Fi, boot up the program, you're good to go. Mevo Plus maybe takes a minute longer, so you're looking at like a minute versus two minutes to set it up. Mevo Plus, you kind of have to mess with the tilt and roll, and then just make sure you're kind of in the right spot every time. And for the Mevo Plus, let me be very clear on the spot you put it in is extremely important. We'll link a video above that shows you how to set it up correctly, but just know SkyTrack Plus, you can pretty much just plop down, good to go. Mevo Plus, you'll kind of want to have a spot marked in your simulator to set Set it up with because the distance from the ball to the Mebo is super important along with kind of that tilt and roll which sounds confusing right now but once you've done it once or twice like I said it's like a two minute setup process all right moving on to simulator programs there's so many of them out there 
do they both offer them so the mevo plus essentially gets any simulator program you want to use the best part about the mevo plus it has an official integration with gs pro which personally is my favorite software with the mevo plus they have a little bit of a different algorithm for ball flights and i find when pairing gs pro with the mevo plus one you get a gajillion courses but the gameplay is the best mevo plus times GS Pro, and GS Pro is a $250 a year subscription, which is extremely cheap. Now the SkyTrack Plus can be paired with a lot of simulator devices as well, but one of the issues I find with the SkyTrack Plus is, even though you can kind of use it with GS Pro, it's chipping and putting doesn't work under like 15 yards. So it's really not super usable with GS Pro. Now E6 is great, and they're gonna be releasing their new program E6 Apex soon. So I think at the end of the day, for both devices, you're gonna be able to access great simulator program. And speaking of E6, one of the best parts about the Mevo Plus and SkyTrack Plus is they come with E6 courses. Mevo Plus, you get 10, which you can use iPad or PC or iPhone. And SkyTrack Plus, you're gonna get 15, but you gotta pay that subscription fee. And then like I said, if you get the limited edition Mevo Plus, you're gonna get 12 E6 courses, and those are those premium courses. Okay, battery life, something you probably won't think about, but it is really important because you don't wanna have the battery drain easy and then come back the next day and go, oh shoot, I need to plug it in and charge it. So SkyTrack Plus is a little over five hours. I think it's five, six hours. It's enough where you can unplug it, use it without having to worry about charging it, but you definitely wanna plug it in at the end of the day, but you get to play your full rounds without having to think about a cord being plugged into it. Now, with the Mevo Plus, it only has three hours of charge, but there's a super simple solution to this. There's external battery packs you can buy that can let it run for like 15 hours. So I just have an external battery hooked up to my Mevo Plus and I'm good to go. I'll link that below as well. All right, this next point could be a huge deal breaker for you taking it to the range. Now, like I said, both of these devices are great indoors, but maybe you want to take it to the driving range as well to just get your numbers out at the range kind of in real life and not the simulator space. Now, the SkyTrack Plus kind of works. If you have like a turf mat, SkyTrack Plus is going to work great. But really, the one that's going to be best at the range is the Mevo Plus because as a radar device, it's going to read that entire ball flight of your ball. So you get just extremely accurate data where with camera based launch monitors, you know, it's taking pictures. It doesn't quite see the full ball flight. So the benefit of the Mevo Plus, right, you get that entire ball flight being red, and that allows you to kind of factor in how far things go with different wind factors, but you can also turn that wind factors off and say, what would it go if there was no wind? So if you're gonna go back and forth driving range simulator, Mevo Plus, I would say, is definitely the choice. Responsiveness. From the moment you hit the ball to when it appears on the screen, how responsive are the devices? They're both good, I would say. You're never gonna get to the point where you're extremely frustrated with either. They might have a half second or second delay, but honestly, when I'm using either of the devices, it doesn't seem to affect gameplay. The Mevo Plus, when you don't have the fusion tracking on, which is like face impact, basically, it uses the camera to help get that face impact. When you have that off, it reads the ball flight faster, maybe half or three quarter of a second. If you add on the face impact part, it has a little more of a delay, probably the exact same as the SkyTrack Plus. And the SkyTrack Plus has a little delay as well, but honestly, some people say it's a big deal. I don't think either one's a big deal, and I think you get used to it really quickly. All right, we're gonna talk about putting. People always want me to talk about putting, and here is my number one simulator tip for anyone getting a simulator. Stop putting on a golf simulator. It just takes a ton of time. It can add up to an hour to your round for 18 holes. And I don't care how good the device is at reading a putt, it's never gonna be worth it. It takes time. You're never gonna get better putting on a simulator. So for both of these devices, I recommend using the auto putt features. Everyone who's used it here is way happier. You play more holes faster, you get better at golf quicker. But they're both good at putting. I would say the SkyTrek Plus is better at putting than the Mevo Plus, but they're both something you can get used to. All right, moving on to quirks of the device. Some people would call these cons. I'm gonna call them a quirk because they're not a big enough deal to like make you return their device, but they're just sometimes a little bit of a pain in the butt. So Mevo Plus, very minimal quirks. My three things with the device, I would say, is with the Mevo Plus, your setup is extremely important. So if you look at mine, I have my stand kind of in the same spot every time, so I can just go and put it down there anytime I wanna play. 
you really want to make sure you take the time to do that very first setup the right way or just once you find a setup that works find a way to mark it off because the setup helps the device read a lot better and so you got to make sure you take the time to dial that in quirk number two titleist rct balls there are special balls designed to work best with the mevo plus not a big deal you're probably going to want to play titleist balls anyway so they're a little more expensive than pro v ones but they last a long time and they're a great option it's not a big deal to me because i like playing with them and then finally chipping with the mevo plus to get the chipping to read the most accurate when you're like really really short chips like under 15 yards what i found is there's a setting in gs pro and you have to say i want to chip five feet from the device and for whatever reason it reads the short chips better not a big deal but i do have to pull it back anytime i'm under 20 yards to chip all right skytrack plus what are the quirks with that so first one is the red dot they'll put a red dot down to tell you where to hit your ball which is nice but the only thing i find being an issue with that is you're going to be hitting kind of in the same spot every time the mevo plus kind of has a foot by foot box so you can kind of spread around where you're going to hit skytrack plus you'll be hitting kind of in the same spot every time which could wear your mat down a little faster quirk number two black berties if you're using an infrared camera based launch monitor you got to make sure when you get these tees they're called berties which is what i recommend getting you get a dark color so black dark blue or green and finally like i said if you want your club data like club path base angle to be accurate you're gonna want to put some club stickers on now it works without it but i found it was a little off so i would just order some club stickers maybe from foresight's website or or wherever you can find them to help get those club path numbers and face angle as accurate as possible all right we just talked about club stickers now what about club data how accurate the club data so obviously we've talked earlier about the accuracy of the ball data but club data is really important because if a device is reading your club path wrong that can really throw off how you train if it's telling you you're 10 degrees out to end but in reality you're only three that could cause you to change your swing when you don't need to so good news club path face angle for both devices extremely good the only issue i had with the skytrack plus was i found the club speed specifically to be off now the average was probably close to what I was, but it just seemed to vary a lot. There'd be times where I was swinging 120s with my driver and then I would be 101. And I would say there's no way I range that much. Generally my range is between like 108 to 112. And I just know from hitting on so many devices that I really don't fluctuate that much. So club speed, I didn't find it be great with the Skytrack Plus, Club path face angle was great. And then obviously the ball data was great. Now let's talk about which one would I buy? Now this is a little bit of a loaded question because as a lefty, I pretty much always have to go with the Mevo Plus if I wanna have people over. But if you throw the lefty part out of the equation, let's say you only had righties coming over, I honestly think it's really close. And I think you're gonna have to decide that. I think it's a 50-50 toss up for me. I think they're both great devices. I like the gear effect readings on the Skytrack a little more. I like the carry yardage accuracy a little more on the Mevo Plus, And then I like the data you get with the Mevo Plus a little more. But with the Skytrack Plus, you can put it in a tighter space. So again, I think it's kind of a toss up and I think it's up to you at the end of the day. Now, before we finish the video, like I said, if you wanna get these devices as cheap as possible, code GOLFBUSTERS10 and our links below. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to email us at golfbustersofficial at gmail.com and we'll see you in the next one.